video will give you a detailed introduction about how the MDU board production line works. This part is the automatic run to a feeding part. All the MDU powder will be automatically put into these hoppers. Besides the hopper, there is a dust collector, so can guarantee there is no dust. This platform is the metering, automatic metering platform. This is a liquid hopper, sulfate liquid hopper. This is the warm tier storage part. For the sawdust, we have a, a kind of equipment, mainly will the main function is the drying and the sieving the sawdust. Uh, for the drying, it means that the sawdust has some moisture content. So after drying, we could guarantee the moisture content less than 10 percent and after sieving in the we can get a different particle size for the sawdust which will be used into producing the different kind of mgu board this is mgu powder fiberglass mesh sulfate liquid hopper and dissolved pound These documents is our quality control documents. For each bat of a board, we will record what is the density, what is the mixing time, worker's name about who is responsible for each part to guarantee every batch of the board is traceable. For the mixers, we totally have five mixers. The first is slurry material mixer, and the second is the standing materials mixer. And the rest part is the three middle layer mixers. Why we equip three middle layer mixers? It is because for the M2 board, the main part is the middle layer materials. When we produce the very thick M2 board, for example, the M2 board above 18 millimeter, then if we equip three mixer, middle layer mixers, it will be much more easier and high efficient during the production. The mixers are double shaft, so it can keep the raw materials mixing very evenly. This part is mainly the production part. We use the sucker to suck the PVC mold on the machine. This part is the release agent. After we put release agent on the PVC mold, it will be very easy to separate the PVC mold with the board, MGO board. For the raw materials, the first layer is the slurry material. After the slurry material, there will be two layers mesh. This is the middle layer materials, and then another two layers mesh. You can see we equipped several fiberglass mesh rows. This is because some customers has very special requirement on the bending strength of the M2 board. So we need to put more layers of fiberglass mesh in the board. Automatic pressing. This part is the cutting. After cutting, the M2 board will be transported into the kit vehicle automatically. Each kit vehicle has 20 panels.
and then the kid vehicle will be transported into the first time curing room. In the first time curing room, we have equipped some heating and cooling systems. For the time, it is need around 12 hours. For the temperature, it is need to be controlled around 40 Celsius degree. After the board stay in 12 hours in the first time curing room, we will need to separate the MGO board from the mold. You can see for the separating line, we have two small lines. The first line is to use to suck the PVC mold automatically. Another line is to use to suck the MGO board automatically. This part can save much more time and labor's cost. You can see we also equip the flip machine. This part is our ed our engineer adjusted the MGO board production according to his experience. For the flip machine, it will flip the MGO board automatically. Why we use this flip machine? It's because when we stack the MGO board, we need to stack with front side to front side. So the flip machine can help save lots of labor's cost on it. This is the second time curing room. We need to control the temperature around 50 Celsius degree and the time is around 24 hours. After the board stayed in the second time curing room for uh, 48 hours, we will use this CNC machine to cut in the four edges of MGO board according to customer's requirement size. and after cutting, the MGO board will be automatically stacking. This part is the sanding part. After cutting the four edges, the MGO board will be put into the sanding production line. On the sending production line, we also equipped the flip machine. It is the same function uh, for the separating line. Yeah, we need to stack the MGO board from side to front side, so it's the flip machine can automatically flip the board. For the sending production line, we have two processes. The first one is primary sending, and the second part is the precise sending. It means that we could, according to customer's requirement, to use different kind of abrasive paper to meet customer's requirement. Also, the sending machine could keep the tolerance very small.